Trofim Shubensov is usually just referred to as that Russian guy in Brookline. People hear about him from word of mouth, from someone they trust, a friend, a relative, a lover, and the story is always the same. The person had tried everything they could think of to quit smoking, the patch, chick centers, gum, hypnosis, nothing worked until they went to Yefim, and bingo, they haven't smoked in years. Now, call up to get an appointment, it can take you up to a year, but people swear by him. What is it that's going on here? Mr. Shubensov has been kind enough to stop by. Welcome. And you have written a book about helping people quit of uh, all kinds of bad habits called Cure Your Cravings. And Mr. Shubensov also allowed our cameras to record a session of his when we sent our Deb Donna, a longtime smoker and anxious to quit, to see him and to see what happened. First of all, before we, we get your backstory, you smoked for how long? 30 years. 30 years. You smoked how much? About a pack a day. And you went to see him when? Uh, Wednesday. Uh, and two days ago. How much have you smoked since? Nothing. Not even, not one? Nah, not at all. Zero. Mm -hmm. How do you feel? I feel great. Um, it's, it's amazing, it really is. I, I, I still have the habit, like after you eat, you want to reach for a cigarette. Mm -hmm. that, that's a natural habit that I'm going to have to break. But when I think about it, I'm like, oh, I don't smoke. And I just can put it right out of my mind. It, it's amazing. And were you surprised by what the experience was like when you went to see him? Yeah, I thought it would be more. It was... Just... It was, yeah. And Billy Joel, you helped Billy Joel, the piano man, quit? Yes, but long time ago. Long time ago. So, now, well, tell people, uh, to begin with, you, you were an artist in Russia. Yes. In and if I remember, when, when we did a story once before, you, you were in some research program, right? This was a Harvard Medical Health Center. They invited me for a research because they want to um, repeat everything what we did in Moscow to see how it was working today. Mm -hmm. But uh, in all magazines, all newspapers, they told us, really working, we just don't know how the hell is working. <laughs> Uh, so they was all very honest and they told everything what uh, he did perfectly working. It was a big article about me in Boston magazine, but uh, we, told, we don't know how, but the serial working. So uh, when I first met you, I, I should tell people that uh, I've so been with other shows ago. in the past, a long time ago. About 20 years ago. Doing Evening Magazine, mm -hmm. and back then you were doing what uh, they, you called bioenergetic healing, where you'd kind of do like this and move without mm -hmm. touching somebody, and that would, you said that improved their circulation, or mm -hmm. you didn't know what it did? Uh, in each show, when people came in my office, it's about 10-15 uh, people, before we start to talk about smoking, I removed people's pain. I stay in my place, they stay in their place, so distance, no, about the biggest, maybe 30 feet, and just by moving hands for a few seconds, Susan was one of the subjects, I removed pain. This doesn't mean pain will be gone for the rest of the life, like your shoulder still will be in pain, because let's say a few treatments, it's not a miracle, it's just like new method. Uh, like example, let's see ordinary headache, recently came, Couple seconds, gone, you can forget about it. But let's see terrible migraine. Not today, not yesterday, whole life, no breaks. Will be gone anyway and will not come back. But in this case, necessary numbers of treatment. How many? God knows. It depends. How old person, how old migraine, etc. But I just show this. I don't have a poison or pain. I just show people this pure physical process. Or oh, let's see, uh, came person uh, to quit smoking, but hearing mm, lousy. Uh, I put my hands for about three minutes. I go on the longest distance, I turn so he cannot read my lips. I will tell something, this person I repeat. Um, so you, you found that this, the, the, you had this, this effect on people, and then it began to be concentrated on smoking and weight loss. V smoking, uh, weight loss, drinking, drugs, all kind of bad habits. Let's see person came, smoking, drinking, drugs, um, biting nails, afraid to go by plane, any kind of phobia. I don't charge additional money. It's just one time treatment, uh, all of this got. Only weight loss separate. You can tell, don't smoke, don't drink, don't use drugs, you cannot tell, this don't This is eat. the cut rate all at once, Betty Ford Center, for almost anything. We're going to ask some more questions about how the, uh, how the smoking cessation thing works. And if you have a question, for the Russian, email us. Are you skeptical? Do you believe he can stop you from smoking? Email us by logging on to our website, cn8.tv slash nightbeat, or call in your comments at 1-800-755-5690. That's 1-800-755-5690. We'll be back and help you quit smoking.
back talking with the man they call that Russian guy from Brookline, the man who somehow miraculously helps people quit smoking who have tried everything else under the sun. Yefim Shabensov, tell me if I, I quit smoking 18 years ago when uh, my, my first son was going to be born, and uh, fortunately I never needed your, your uh, talents, but I've seen people go to your office and do this. Walk me through. We'll, we'll run the B-roll we have of our visit to your office and walk me through what people go through when they come to see you. First, you explain stuff to them, right? You see this, the, the picture of you? Tell me what's going on. Uh, I gave explanation. Uh, first, um, short story about uh, me, because otherwise they will ask uh, during the time of explanation about smoking, so to be sure they will not interrupt. About a couple of minutes after, um, during the session, I don't talk how dangerous to smoke because people already came to get smoked. It's ridiculous to convince people to eat when they come in a restaurant. Uh, so I talking how to avoid withdrawal, how to avoid extra weight. And big numbers of people who um, came to quit smoking after came not to show direction for a friends or relatives and told me they lost weight instead of put no diet, no willpower. This is what I'm doing during the time of explanation. I told people how to make this easy, simple, without negative side effect. So this is uh, what explanation One of the about. things you tell people, uh, as I remember when I was there before, all you want to do is you just want to quit smoking. You don't mm -hmm. want to start eating more. You don't want to start drinking 10 glasses of water. You don't no, want to chew gum. All you do is quit smoking. That's the only change no. you're going to make in your life. No, because if you're doing anything, Instead, this reminder, now let's see, um, you're walking, and you're walking, you think, I'm walking instead, uh, because I don't want to smoke. So you're thinking about Let's, it, this drives you crazy. We're going to take a quick call from Regina from Bedford, New Hampshire. Welcome, Regina. Hi there. I um, just wanted to thank um, the, um, uh, the Russian uh, for making me quit after 48 years. I started smoking when I was 15 years old, and I stopped. The day I went to see him, I was 63 years old. How long has it been? Seven years. Seven years? Seven years. And you quit smoking and, uh, after smoking 40 years and it, because you visited him? 48 years. 48 40, years? 48 because... years, yes. 48 years and I smoked about a pack and a half a day. Thanks, Regina. You feel better? Uh, much better and so free. Thank you, Regina. Thanks Thank for you. calling in. So uh, you also help people lose weight now, right? Yes. And your, your book is called, where, where can I get this book? Cure Your Cravings. If you, if you can't make the visit, you can see the, see the book here. Uh, I know for sure one, st two stores. First, probably because I'm a local guy and they order again, again, again. It's in the Coolidge Corner, so mm -hmm. corner between Beacon and Harvard Street, and Harvard Street, Booksmith. They order any time, for sure, because my, no, people ask me to sign, so I know. A second, um, Amazon bookstore. All the others sold out. Is it still like a year waiting list to get in and see? No, less. Um, for a weight loss, quite long, but for a smoking, not so <laughs> dramatically. Well, we're going to keep uh, following Deb and, and encourage her to, uh, to m keep up with the good change she's made. And good to see you. You look terrific. Thank you. You've lost some weight. No, the same. Yeah, well, it lo I you just, look fit. I just told. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for coming in. Mm -hmm. Up next.